Attention. Listen to me, family, okay? This is quintessential right here. This is family. Listen to family. Pay attention. Why you put me on here with this bonnet on my head? Whoa, <laughs> what are you doing with your breath all up in the damn camera? Where the hell are you going? Man, I just got off work. I'm about to shower. I just ate one. Boy, girl, you need to get your work on, man. You a working-ass woman. <laughs> of course. The wet days you came off. <laughs> I got Fridays and Saturdays off right now. Oh, okay. You, you work in the hospital, right? No, I'm traveling, and I got a contract at the prison. Oh, okay, because last time we had you on, you looked like you were at a hospital. You were some kind of facility. Yeah, I worked oh. at a hospital. That time, I worked in there. Oh. All right, family. Let me give y'all, let me, let me, let me tell y'all, oh, actually, tell y'all what y'all, okay. let me tell y'all, let me give y'all the synopsis, okay? This is Tariq's live. He does IG live broadcasting every week after his shows, right? After he presents to us information, uh, because he's real black media, he does IG lives with all of other foundational black Americans, um, and he brings them on. I was on his live like four years ago, and we discussed various topics, right? Men and women, all right? So that's the synopsis. That's that's what you're seeing, all right? This was just yesterday. This was today, early. Tariq is in L.A. So, fellas, black women, my queens, my niggas, pay attention, okay? Because this, this sister right here, gorgeous sister, uh, a mature sister, uh, as you can see, she, I mean, she's telling you, she's on top of her game, right? Pay attention, family, because you are about to see exactly the dilemma that we need to conquer as black men and women when it comes to dating and relationships in America, which we're not going to be able to do in America, but just pay attention. Now, now, you need to this got a whole game in there, so. My problem, so yeah, pretty much. What, now, what city are you in now? I'm in Sacramento. Oh, okay, how's everything going up there? That's alright. Just whatever? Pretty much. Now, when you travel, do you live in these places or do you just go to these places and then you go back to Sacramento? I just go and go back. Okay. Now, how long have you been living in Sacramento? I came here in March. Okay. See, that's the thing. You be moving all these goddamn places. Now, where were you before Sacramento? Wisconsin. Oh, shit. Wow. Now, where are you from originally? Wisconsin. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. I'm gonna say she date all the drug dealers. No, she doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I do not. Stop. She does not date the drug dealers. No, deal. I don't. This, this woman, this lady, working woman. Yes, right. I'm lying to myself. Yes, it did. You, you, you don't have children. You got children? No. No Where's your dude? Where, where's a nice, strong. Let me say this. I gotta interject this. Pay attention, family. Now, mature sister, attractive sister, she's obviously independent. I'm not going to point out the visual, right? Tattoos, all that. I ain't going to point none of that out. <clears throat> I'm just going to say this. The sister has no children. If I was to guess, I was to guess this sister is 37, she's between 37 and 40 years old. So just just listen. Man in your life. Why don't you have a nice strong man right there waiting on you, getting off work with some hot pockets and some wine coolers when you okay, go. Yes, ma'am. Because I am so independent, I'm so headstrong. Like I don't know what a man can really do for me other There we go. Bingo. There we go. The sister admitted. And she knows what the problem is. But she can't let it go. 
which I can understand because she's obviously she's, she's getting to this money. But she had she is such um stricken on getting this money and feminist mind, which is that independent shit, that she has basically disregarded or she's basically indirectly undermining her female imperative, her natural female imperative, which is to have children, have a family, and get a husband or uh, uh, get a man. So basically, she is turning men off. Men, she's been dealing with men, her, you know what I'm saying? She's been dealing with men, that's obvious. But what she just told us, what she just told us, men directly, she's turning men off. Men are basically hitting and quitting because she's so independent, she's so strong-minded. Basically, she's in a masculine stance. Maybe in sex. Because I, I provide everything for myself. I get, I, my guard is up, so, because it's like, nowadays, everybody. Let me remind you. Give me a second. Because you got to hear this. This is real shit. I've dealt with women like this, bro, with this mind. It's real good. I am so independent. I'm so headstrong. Like, I don't know what a man can really do for me other than sex. Because I, I provide everything. Bingo. Bingo. What you just heard right there, family, is exactly what the white supremacists Design, that's exactly what their plan was when they deliberately established an independent mindset in black American women by usurping the black man, uh, undermining us, killing us, sabotaging us, imprisoning us, and then giving the black woman resources, access to jobs, and pseudo power. That's exactly what they planned for. For the black woman to say that she does not need, she does not understand why she really needs a man other than for sex or procreation. For myself. I can't, I, my guard is up, so, because it's like, nowadays everybody is out to get the money. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nobody's really, like, you can't really put your guard down with people because they take it for granted. Ooh, that's they, true. They, they feel like I was okay. I was in a relationship before, and the guy made it famous. He was like, "You're a challenge for me." I never knew what that was. Okay. So I experienced it, and he basically was trying to break my independence. He's used to women that need it, and I never needed it. So let me say this: I'm not gonna say that the sister is is is, is uh, Catherine. But I'm going to say I don't believe everything that the sister just said. I, this is my personal belief. I think she may have dealt with a brother if he said he want, if he says she's a challenge. Uh, I believe that, but I don't believe he was trying to break her independence as in trying to demean her. I believe that she had a brother who was trying to get her to assume her natural place, which is a, as a woman which is to be led by a man. That's what I believe. And I don't think that when she said that he was used to women needing him, first of all, all women need men. All men need women. That's just what it is. Even if you think you're independent, you need, uh, you need some man you need, whether it's that white man that's cutting you a check or whoever, you need a man. That's a stop there. So he wanted you to be dependent on him financially? Right. Right. Mm. 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 I could never do that. Now, how long were you dating him? Two years. That's a long time. Mm hmm. Yeah, how long ago was this? Yeah. It was before I came out here. Okay, okay. So he's out there in Wisconsin, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, he, he, he was weak, like. Any man that try to break women, they're weak to me, like, they're weak, like, right. like, who wants, who wants to break? Pay attention, man. First of all, look at, you see her nails. I, I, I'm not going to say too much, but you see her nails, you see the tattoo, you see the chains. Look at her, listen to her demeanor. And then she said he was weak, 
she was trying to break a woman. I don't think that he was trying to break her. I think he was trying to get her to assume her feminine role. Because right now, I don't hear nothing feminine about this woman. Other than the fact that she's a female, nothing I hear is feminine. Down the woman, like, why not go to her? Like, why not get mm. So, mm. me, I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't got I don't got the door closed on relationships or anything. It's just like right now I'm just really focused. Of course, yeah, you ain't got a brush. You ain't got a brush. Of course not. I have a lot to offer, so. What do you have to offer? Listen, I have all your damn job. What do you got to offer? That ain't your job. Like I told you, I'm independent. I have my own everything. Okay, how's that? Possible? I have access. I, I have access. I have. Thank you. This is why I love Tariq. He's a genius. Tariq been doing this for years. Black women, my queens, understand something. A black man who's on top of his shit or on his way to be on top of his shit, we don't give a shit about what you have. We don't give a shit about your your car, your job, how much money you make, whatever assets you got, or none of that. None of that means nothing to us. Why? Because we either got all of that or we're going to get all of that. That's a masculine Aspect, resources, money. That's masculine shit. When a woman has that, we don't give a fuck. All we care about is femininity, loyalty, and you're willing to be submissive. That's it. Other than, other than that, we don't care. I have, I, I have my own everything. I have a lot of comfort. I have no kids. I have no baggage. Like, so... Okay, and how does that, off, what, what does that offer? What does that bring to uh, a single gentleman who's out here, single, ready to make? What does that bring to, well, how First does that bring him? He can learn from me. We okay. can invest, we can build. We can okay. become a power, like a power couple. Listen. Okay, you can I learn can build his life. Mm -hmm. what, what if he got his shit popping? What if he's like, you know, I got my shit We just don't take off. Okay. And he meets you, and you got your shit popping. He got it popping. He don't really need you. You don't really need him, because sometimes it ain't, ain't about need of, of a tangible. It's about, no, you're right. Like I mean, provide, provide, cooking, cleaning, all that. That stuff. That's success. That's basic, because that's yeah. what a woman's supposed to provide. But I'm saying, oh. but you see, you see, fam. Whenever we as human beings say but, that's when you need to pay attention. Now, I, this is my last interjection. My last situation with a woman, with a black woman, very attractive, had a bunch of tattoos, all that, super masculine. But she didn't look like it if, if, if you never heard her talk. This is what I'm going to say. She almost said exactly what this woman said. She said to me that, you know, we was having a discourse, and she said, you know what's, you know what's wrong with us? You know what's wrong with our relationship? He said, we don't need each other for that. That's what she said. And she was completely false, as this woman is. Because, first of all, even in that aspect, that's not a problem. If you don't need your partner, so to speak, for anything. She was talking about resources. Because I had my own place, she had her own place. I had my own car, she had her own car. But that's not a problem. That's actually a positive. But y'all got to pay attention to that, fellas, because our women have became, not all, but most, they have became so independent that they actually want a man to need them. Resource-wise, shit is, shit is fucked. Shit is crazy. Above that and above all of that, what else can you provide? I've been in a relationship, my mom's relationship was nine years. Shit. That's a long time. Now, how do you now? How do you now? 28. 28. So, you were with a motherfucker since then. You were. Now, I was all the way up. She's 28. Well, I, I, I couldn't really get a good look at her, but. Damn, I was all the way up. Fuck. When you was 18? Yeah. I was nine. Okay. 
Boy, that's a long ass time. Now. And I, I can see why you're really trying to rush into that. I mean, you've been into a long term shit. I'm just focused. Of course, there's nothing wrong with that. You're going you to focus on what? Some fly brothers going to slide in that DM. And y'all going to make I'm something. Yes. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, that would make sense. But what does your tattoo say? Was that is that a, a broken heart? Is that a it's a heart with thorns to it? Oh Lord, see that's the you gotta get out of the system, all that. It my is, heart is that cold. Looks so all that subliminal <laughs> shit. Oh my heart is a, 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 a thorny heart. No, that was from college. Lord, Lord, Lord. That was from college, like okay. I had the college before I was a nurse and I had went for acting and it was a bunch of art people. We was drinking and he was tagging him. Yeah. There you go. Lord, Lord. Anyway, there, but anyway, thank you so much. You're going to be fine. Everything is good out there in Sacramento. Yeah. She needs to get rid of them nails immediately. If she if she wants a high value black man, she needs to get rid of those motherfucking nails. But if she wants somebody to run through her, keep the nails. Yes. All right? Yes. All right. All right. She's a She's a sweet girl. That's a 